Well, several military bases and hundreds of other local workers call the Lowcountry and Coastal Empire home, but now possible troop reductions could mean a big economic hit here at home. Now, a big chunk of our region's economy is tied to the military, but now there is a growing fear that thousands of troops might be cut next year, which would be crippling to the area. From Liberty County to Chatham County, leaders are bracing for the potential loss and doing what they can to minimize impact. WJCL's Nick Atario working for you to explain why this could happen. Nick. Yeah, the military says another round of cuts could happen in 2015. Fort Stewart Hunter Army Airfield base could be on the chopping blocks, a situation local business owners don't want to see happen. With nearly 30,000 troops, the military plays a vital role in the coastal region. So the idea of losing more than half of them isn't sitting well with some in the Hinesville business community. The military is the town. We have no other industry uh, to speak of that um, can support the community. But D.C. plans to cut down military spending, a situation Hinesville Mayor James Thomas spoke about in front of a packed room Thursday. While he's heard it could be as high as 16,000, Thomas says he doesn't know what the number could be. Right now, it's kind of in turmoil, to be perfectly truthful. Concerns not just in Liberty County, but also here in Chatham County, where Hunter Army Airfield is. The leaders here say they're worried what could happen next year. If we were to lose 16,000, you'd lose about $3 billion worth of economic impact. Um, that would be disastrous in, in a community. It's not just coastal bases in jeopardy, but several others across the country. But things could also change. Republicans took control of Congress and therefore control military spending. So local leaders say it could go either way. In fact, we might even get more troops to our region. If sequester ramps down, and particularly with the ISIS threat out there, we may see a further investment or a restoration of some of the investment in the military. We think that there's a better chance of the military not being uh, decreased as significantly as it probably would have been uh, if, you know, in, in another case. If you want to weigh in on the issue, you have a shot next week. There's a community support meeting in Hinesville Monday night at 6. Information there on your screen. Now, WJCL News learned a decision on this may not happen until next September. But guys, obviously a lot of eyes on this thing and they're hoping to get a lot of community members to have input because that plays a role into where the cuts are made. Definitely. Mm -hmm. understandably yeah, so. A lot Thanks. riding on it. Mm -hmm. Thank you.